breaking. He exposed Hillary's cash man and was just found dead. This is insane by Amanda Shea for FreedomDaily.com. The body count keeps accumulating around Hillary Clinton. It has reached epidemic uh, proportions. Anyone who knows of her or something about her is not safe as their time of unfortunate fate could strike at any time as these fatalities cannot be ignored. It's another day and yet another dead body has been found under extreme circumstances. The cause of death seems to be from knowing and exposing who Hillary Clinton's cash man was. It was probably her most tightly kept secret yet, and one she didn't want out no matter who she had to kill to keep it silent. Last week, we reported about a prominent surgeon who exposed what seemed to be the Clinton corruption in Haiti with the funds that went there for relief but ended up being used for other things unrelated to the devastation in that third world country. Dr. Dean Lorick was found dead in his pricey New York City apartment by his 11-year-old daughter in what mainstream news said was a suicide. However, he has been stabbed in the chest as the mode of death, suggesting that perhaps it was actually homicide instead of a a self-inflicted death. The way he died would have been practically, particularly difficult to do himself. Furthermore, when his daughter found him and called for help, she reported it was an assault, a fact that Democrats are desperate to hide. Lorik wasn't the last sudden death, as we're now getting word of another more brutal murder with a very specific tie to Hillary. Under the most alarming circumstances, an inquisitive alternative media journalist has just been found dead. The timing was perhaps not ironic, given that he had just exposed corruption within billionaire liberal financier to all things wrong in America, George Soros and his organization. Bekir Rabani had investigated and exposed the well-known far-left group that operates and runs completely on Soros's funds, who also happens to be a friend and confidant of Hillary's. She had benefited a great deal off his corruption, and now the man who worked to uh, reveal their secrets is dead on Friday night. Unbelievable. Freightator SE reports as translated from Swedish to English. The cause of death is still unknown, but several theories about it have spread on the internet. The death occurred within hours after Bakir Rabani uh, had released a movie in which uh, visited the home of multimillionaire Robert Ashberg. Uh, just before Rabani's mysterious death, he announced that he would release more information about evidence he had uncovered during his investigation. Bashir Rabani became famous when he went home to express Thomas Matson a and Diamond Salihu earlier this year to ask questions about their journalism. Rabani filmed the visit, but neither of the two people he visited dared open the door. He then on uploaded the clip online, which became a viral success. But here Rabani then continued his journalism through the Megaphone Project. Recently, he released the documentary series in the Shadow of the Shadow, which deals with rapes that affect Swedish women. He also infiltrated an extremist connect, uh, connected to the Nordic residence, resistance excuse me, movement's demonstration in Gothenburg on September 30th. Soros Connection, Peter Sweden's tweet. Swedish alternative media journalist Bakar Rabani found dead tonight under strange circumstances. This comes just as he was investigating and exposing well-known communist Robert Ashberg, Ashberg and far-left uh, organization Expose, uh, which is funded by Soros, retweet. Yesterday, he wrote a post on his VK account, but the now the megaphones confirm that he suddenly died. 
We can be very sad to announce that Bakir, uh, Bakir Rabani is dead. Bakir was a fierce fighter who fired for justice and who without hesitation stood up for all those who themselves could not or dared. We will remember Bakir for his energy, his driving force, and not least all his work. We currently do not know the cause of death and the spread of rumors is great so long as information is available. We can only donate our thoughts and condolences to Bakir's family and relatives in this difficult time, he writes on Facebook. Bakir Abani's last project was a review by Robert Ashberg, director of Left Extremes Expo, a left-wing extremist organization dedicated to registering people on the right-hand side. Rabani had, among other things, made a home visit to Ashburg, which, however, would not be interviewed. After my visit to Ashburg, my Facebook accounts were permanently closed. This has never happened before, and the text below the report was de deleted everywhere on Facebook. Our website has also been under attack. The report will be coming soon and probably the first ever to review Ashburg. Look out for the days and spread as much as you can, wrote Bakir Rabani in a blog post on December 7th. Rabani promised yesterday new information about Robert Ashberg. Coming, uh, uh, coming an update on Ashberg. He has watched the video and mailed Mikit Cool, as we say on SFI. Uh, it's coming up later today. Spread the word on Facebook, said Bakir Rabani's last post in so on social media, which was published on Thursday. However, the information should not have been published. Bakir Rabani became 33 years old. He came from a Palestinian family who fled from Palestine to Syria in 1948. The exact cause of death is not yet known, but on the net, the uh, theory is that both Robert Ashberg himself and the Israeli intelligence service Mossad could be behind the death. National journalists at Review Sweden have released a film on Friday night to report a robbery to Robert Ashberg for murder because it is strange that Bakir Rabani suddenly dies when he reviews Ashberg. However, some concrete evidence is not presented. Uh, GS writes that you will request the autopsy report. The megaphone itself points out that there is big, uh, big rumor spread on the net right now. Bakir Rabani sh should have died during the night to Friday. Uh, this is re uh, translated, you can tell. Free Times have sought relatives of Bakir Rabani who do not currently want to pronounce uh, uh, that he died. According to social news, Rabani has contacted the newspaper reporter Igor, Igor Patilov two weeks before his death and said that he personally received a warning from a, quote, safe contact to be careful, quote. However, if the FB con uh, conversation with Patilov, Rabani's answers are now removed which is not usually the case, even if a profile is removed, says Social News. According to the online newspaper, Rabani will also have worked with a review of Facebook and its employees. Why is it that everyone around Clint the Clinton clan always seems to commit suicide, disappear, or dies under mysterious circumstances? There are two answers to this dilemma. Either the Clintons themselves are responsible or they are the luckiest people in the history of the universe. And I don't know about you, but as for myself, I don't believe in luck. So he was uh, going to uh, release very sensitive information and only 33 years old. And why uh, the cause of death is not, uh, yeah, come on, unbelievable. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.